Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe InDesign scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be quickly showing you how you can export pages or books out of your InDesign project. Now this will just take basically one line of code, which applies whether you want to export the document as a whole or the book. And this will allow us to easily run the script in one click and go to any location we choose and view our newly exported files. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code link for this in GitHub to try it out for yourself and make modifications. Make sure you follow us there for other code updates. And down in the description, you can follow us on Instagram for other updates. If you want to get more help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more outside of these videos, join the Discord server in the link below. And lastly, if you want to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. So if we look inside any of the uh, InDesign scripting guides and look at document.export file or book.export file, this is what we're going to be taking a look at today. Um, and the first thing we need to do when we have an InDesign script is reference our document we have open. Let's assume they have their document they want to export already open. So let's go ahead and create a variable called document. And we'll set this equal to app.active document. And this will just get us the open document inside of InDesign. You know, I've done so many Illustrator scripting videos, I'm not sure if I've called uh, InDesign Illustrator, but if I do, I'm sorry. But moving on, now all we have to do is simply run the method called export file. So if we say document.export file and close out that method, now let's take a look at what arguments are required to export our file. We have the format, which apparently varies. We can take a look at that in a second. We need the to file, and it looks like the rest are optional. We have our showing options. If true, it will display the export options. We don't want that. Um, we have using, which will use certain preset export styles. And then we have options like comments and force saving. But we just need the format and the to file. So what are the formats? Well, in order to find what our values we can have for the format are, I'm going to look at the object called export format. This contains a bunch of the presets that we can use. And if you can see, we have quite a few options here. We have EPS, EPUB, HTML, uh, markup, interactive PDF, JPEG, PDF, PNG, RTF, text, XML, plenty of options to choose from uh, in terms of file format exports. So let's go ahead and just choose. Maybe we want to do a PDF. Let's go ahead and use that. So we need to set the value to export format dot PDF underscore type. So I'll set that as my first argument for this. Now, if we look back, we have our format. Now we just need the file, which requires a file object to export. So I'll go ahead and create a new file object. And inside of here, I just need to provide it with the location. So let's save this to my desktop by referencing the relative location to my desktop. And what are we going to call this? Well, what we can actually do is add our document.name. And of course, we can double check that we can access document.name, which is definitely something we have access to. And then we're going to add whatever our uh, file format is. So in this case, we have PDF. This will create the file desktop, uh, the document name plus PDF as our file format. And then again, you have options for uh, optional arguments like showing the options, which I'm going to just set to be false. This will prevent any dialogues from popping up asking us for further uh, formatting information. So now let's go ahead and try and run this script and make sure I have uh, basically an empty desktop and I'll run it. And now I have a brand new PDF loaded on my desktop, which should contain all of the pages from our document. Now the same exact thing applies for if you want to export the entire book. Documents and books are two different objects we have the uh, capabilities to export with. So if we just get uh, a book object, in this case I'm just going to call it book, we have the same options to export the file with our certain type, location, and uh, other options. And uh, in the link in the description where the code is located, I've included the most common types, just in case you don't have access to the guide. Uh, but you can also, if you have the object model viewer, take a look at all of the uh, export formats. And inside of there, you have all of these that you can choose from. And that should allow you to then go on and start adjusting other options inside of your document 
export the file and automate this process as much as you need. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this. Try it out for yourself and make modifications. Follow us there on GitHub. And you can also follow us on Instagram in the description for other updates. If you're not a member of our Discord server, come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.